Hello again gamers and welcome back to All My Gaming. More importantly, welcome to RimWorld, where today I wanted to start a bit of a series that I'm going to be calling Winter is Coming. Take of that reference what you will, but um, I'm going to pause it and have a look at our new map. I'll introduce you to our colonists in a moment. For anybody out there who hasn't played RimWorld, think... I like to think it's like... It's like Prison Architect meets Firefly. It's a uh, space western about surviving on a harsh environment um, where just shit gets thrown at you all the time and you'll probably die very, very quickly and very, very often. I'm not... I'm probably not the best at the game, certainly, um, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. Now, my idea with this uh, this game mode that we're calling Winter is Coming is that... Well, I've chosen one of the really northern areas on the map, so when you start a match you get to choose where you want to go, and that decides what biome you're in, as well as um, what sort of things spawn around you, and what the weather's going to be like. And for this one I've gone really far north, which means it's going to get very cold very quickly. As you can see, bottom right hand corner there, over here, it says that the outdoor temperature is 5 degrees Celsius, which for anybody in the Northern Hemisphere or anywhere they use Fahrenheit, that's like five degrees above freezing. Freezing is at zero. So, um, we're going to have this sort of lull of temperature where we're doing all right, but once it hits, like, later in the year, it's the temperature's just going to drop, like, balls to the wall, freezing cold, stuck cuddling a polar bear, sort of slice open a tauntaun and sit inside it, kind of cold. So, um, we're going to be only growing our food during the summer. My other little uh, provisor is that I am only allowing myself to grow food outside. That means no hydroponics whatsoever, for those of you who know how this game works. There are hydroponics and, um, well, you can grow inside when you want to. Now, these are my guys, so I'll introduce you to them quickly. So, we've got DeWald, who is a bit of everything. I wanted somebody who was a bit of everything so that they could just be all-round useful in case somebody else happens to uh, die of, you know, dysentery or whatever. Drugi is my uh, doctor and a couple of other things, but uh, I think mainly, yes, I wanted Drugi for the growing, uh, going to be my grower, because, like I said, only growing outside and only able to grow during summer means that winter I'm going to need a lot of food stocked up. I'm going to need to be a little bit like a squirrel and just have all my nuts in a row by the time um, by the time it happens. I don't know why my nose is itchy today. Anyway, my other one, Til... Til... Til Demma. I'm going to call you... Tilly. Thank you, Tilly. Now... We're going to turn all of these unthingied. You are a... You're the brawler. You get that? You're also a brawler, but you're a substantially better shot. So... No, I mean substantially better with brawling. So you're getting the knife. You're getting... That's not a knife. Oh, survival rifle. <laughs> I thought I said survival knife. Anyway. And we're just going to set about beginning to survive. Uh, I'm, I think the very first thing that I'm going to want to do is... Um, what type of stone is that? That's, that's plasteel, that's limestone. I'm going to have my base of operations in here, just because it's a little bit, um, you know, easier to defend. But basically, I'm going to... Um, mine off this chunk here. We're going to use that um, to fill in this area so that we don't have to fuss about that. And this is where we're going to be having most of our defenses. Um, this is Alpha 11. In fact, uh, the most recent one is 11B, I do believe, which means that um, it is a lot harder to survive. Particularly, 11B was... Um, how long is that? 6 by... Six? Six by seven. Eleven B. It was really just a bunch of bug fixes, which um, a lot of um, little, you know, useful life survival things. And um, but Alpha Eleven added um, sappers in particular, who are just going to come along and beat the crap out of your walls rather than um, 
Rather than going straight after you guys, they're going to try and burrow through your walls, they're going to cut down things, they're going to blow things up. It also added a bunch of traps and a bunch of other things, but um, I think sap is the biggest thing there. 11B added, um, did actually, apparently, I haven't seen it yet, haven't played it yet, this is the first I'm playing, but um, it apparently improved the, um, the AI of the sapper escorts greatly. So I don't know whether that means that they're going to be more intelligent with the way that they come and attack you or exactly what that's going to mean, but um, I'm hoping that it's just going to mean that they're going to be a little bit more challenging. Anyway, I'm going to make a bit of a stockpile here and I'm going to get some growing zones going. So we're just going to have a big ass growing zone there, a big ass growing zone here, and a big ass growing zone there. This one is going to be Zerygium. This one's going to be potatoes. This one is going to be corn. Corn, sure. All right, for now, yeah, let's put them on manual. Who was my grower? You were good. So you're going to be number one at growing. Everybody's going to be number one patient. You're going to be number one doctor if anybody needs it. Everybody's going to have a three on flick. That's just going around and turning on and off lights. Did I really get only one guy who can do firefighting? Oh, that is stupid of me. I'm a spaz. Oh dear. Well, everybody's going to be a four and everything to start, and then um, I'm going to go through and make them all specialize as we need. We are going to have everybody be a number one for hauling and a number one for constructing just to start out while we need it as well as you are definitely going to be my number one miner let's see so your patient hauling what was your good thing to all you you were researching i think and cooking yes cooking that means you can be my warden as well so can you plant cutting Put everybody on a two for plant cutting for now and that should about do it just to get us started oh do we want a hunter do we want a hunter who got who got the gun who got the rifle droogie did so that means that droogie is going to be our hunter which is going to be number two for him no because the other two are both brawlers so that's fine Okay, so let's assign some beds. That's going to be DeWald's bed. This is going to be Droogie's bed, and this is going to be Tilly's bed. Good. First night. Things are going fine. I say that now. Pretty soon we're going to be fucked. I don't have a woodcutter. Oh no, everybody's on two for plant cutting, so that should be alright for now. Let's um, stick a horseshoe down so that they can play horseshoes. And we will also order some hunting. Somebody can hunt that squirrel. Uh, those are a bit far out. These are the, um, the steam vents that you can use for steam power, which name I've completely forgotten, but um, that's what they are, and there's three of them actually, so far that I can see, but they are a bit far out, which worries me. So we may not be able to use them, or if we do, then we're probably going to have to enclose them and like run wires through the mountain, I'm not sure. Let's claim this, and then we're going to deconstruct it so that we can reuse those blocks. remove the floor as well. Are there any... Hmm... No, there aren't any of those weird chambers full of crypto sleep caskets. Hmm... Damn. Oh well. Alright, um, I do have now, because we mined all that out, I do have walls which are going to be slate, and we're just going to do this for now. Why did that not work? 
And we'll just do that for now, which should be thick enough at least to start. Because all we really want is this front entrance over here. In fact, I may just use that one to get in and out. We'll put a big wall across here. The uh, Great Wall of the northern half of my base. Hmm. Realised I forgot to set my timer going. That's fine. We'll get things going, we'll do another night or two, and then um, see where we are at. Oh, there's another one over here. That might be better. Maybe. Because if we just wrap it with walls, then um, it'll be a less valuable target. Because it just won't be worth it. Droogie, what are you doing? You've fallen asleep in the wall. Droogie. No path. Where are you? Did somebody seal you in? Yes, they did. And we're going to turn the, call the town Splatterville. 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 That is, of course, a reference to myself and not a reference to how my people are going to die. Anybody who tells you otherwise is lying. I believe they sealed him in. A little disappointed with that. Overview. Let's have a look at what everybody's doing. They're going to be working. Working. And have some joy there. And then they can do whatever they like at the end of the day. Is that really the most efficient way to do that? Oh, that's sure as hell not. We're just going to end up with these ones sitting here forever. What the hell? How are our plants going? Actually pretty well. I'm surprised. In fact, let's add another one. Let's go around there and we'll make this strawberry plants. What? What's going on? Mad animal. Which one? Fucking squirrel. Fucking squirrel. Which one? That one. Kill it. Alright, you guys, go get the squirrel. Oh. Sorry, guys. Tilly got it. Let's get a Nazel Beto. Which will be for the doctoring. And then we're going to get to work uh, building a another room, which is going to be our production room, I think, which would be five by seven. We'll stick a door in it there. So this is where all of our production things are going to be going, I believe. And then we'll put a um, we'll have a freezer room on this side. I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to be building this all as like one interconnected complex or whether I'm going to be doing um, more like individual buildings. Hmm. I have yet to decide, but um, you know, we'll decide. We can decide together. Also making these out of slate. What's in the walls? Limestone. probably means that I'd be better off making these out of limestone. Um, what am I doing? Structure. Wooden wall. Oh yeah, you need a stone cutters thing. I'm a spaz. Oh dear. Well, for now let's just do that. It will provide some sort of um, usefulness. Let's get a butcher's table. I have not made that room big enough. Hmm. 
Oops. Oops, oops, there we go. Yeah, I've really not made that big enough. What else do we need? Yeah, once we've got that, we can start on some research. Let's get on the research bench instead. Didn't you just start on that? Nope. Okay. Tilly, what are you up to? Going for a walk. How about you work on this? That sounds good. What'd you do? You didn't do anything. Good gracious. Eclipse. Oh dear. And I was just thinking about power. Seems like a sign to me we're going wind turbines. Food, you say? Power conduit there. Power conduit over here. Power conduit up there. Now let's get. Now that was plasteel. Where is some? You steel? Yes, you are. Excellent. Just because we're going to need that relatively soon. Ah, research. Good. Um, yeah, let's get stone cutting. That sounds good. We are also going to need a battery room, which... I think for now will be... Over here, we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six batteries. And we're going to put a wall across the front. I do love the music in this game, it's just so sort of um, evocative. I mean atmospheric. Oh well. I suppose evocative works. How are we doing guys? We're doing okay. For our first little um first little setup. Alright, I think we're going to call that an episode here. We have, what have we done this episode? We've set up some power, we've set up some buildings, we've made it through two nights, I think? Was that two or three? Anyway, we've got a little sleeping area and we've got all of our farms. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.